say good day to you. Uh, as you know, I'm Tony McCullum, your delegate to the annual conference for the 2000, 2020 year, uh, for the next four years. And it's my duty to at least give you a report of the annual conference. As I made my report last year, you know, I left you with the thought of Tony dealing with a flip phone. I'm still dealing with the flip phone and I was able to print off the annual conference journal, which is some 170 pages, but I dare not try to give you all 170, but I'm here to just give you a recap of the conference which was delayed uh, until this time and to give you a report of what's the actions of the Mississippi Annual Conference this year. Uh, it began on Sunday, July the 26th, and with a later session and I was able to Zoom with them. And our lay conference leader, Latoya Reed, Thompson Reed, Reed Thompson, uh, gave the opening statements for the laity. And we was able to have Zoom citing reports from the 11 districts. Again, uh, Sister Thompson, uh, gave us the foundation of what the laity is all about. And uh, this is just our duty to try to uh, relate what goes on within the Mississippi Conference with you, our congregations. Uh, in doing that, she went on to give all the glory sightings of the districts. And within the districts, uh, you know we, was in the, we are in the Hattiesburg district. And you notice that all the districts are doing some of the same things because of this year's uh, Corona 19. But we are all pretty much on the same page, and you will know that we are on the same page because all the glory sighting kind of repeated itself in how they are doing services with the drive ups, the, the, the Facebook, and all what we are doing and are trying to do here on the Paul and Charge. And but the only difference this time that our bishop was able to be in this meeting with us by Zoom. And he was overwhelmed because all the other times at the annual conference, he would be in a meeting with the clergy and Latoria would be with the left. But this time he got a chance to hear all the glorious sighting and true enough, he, he was almost in tears when he made his statement. Uh, but the Hatchbury District, one of two of the key things that it deals with is the Wesley Foundation and the Edward Street. And several other churches on the charge participate with Edward Street. And the main thing is, what are we doing after church? Because now, because we're not coming into church, it's our duty to continue on with the missions of the ch church. The mission continues. You will hear that again as we go through these uh, overviews. The mission continues. Again, uh, our bishop did have a chance to talk with us during the Zoom, and he was real excited about what's going on within the district. Uh, our bishop is coming up on 70 years old, but he will be with us another year because of what is going on. Uh, again, what are we doing after church? It's very important that we go out and continue the missions of the church to love with generosity, justice, and appreciation. Friendships. We feel that we should feel good about doing the things within the church, and that is our mission. Uh, and Sister, the Laity Conference leader also mentioned uh, some of the concerns of the church, and there's a letter stating uh, the concerns. And two of the concerns are how we deal with the, the Corona for 19 and racial injustice. So those letters are before us in the conference. And so don't think uh, the church is not aware of what's going on in our community. Again, uh, with all those making those uh, glorious sightings, uh, that was our Sunday section. And everything and all, all the members of the, of the conference pretty much uh, was involved in that. But on Monday, again, the the mission continues. It began with our bishop, and he stated why we are meeting in this form. Uh, the Mississippi Conference has a duty to
to do its, its uh, legal actions. And the state of Mississippi has a law on how you can perform your duties when you have represent so many people. So, rule, standing rule 28 uh, is in the conference uh, discipline book. And this is where all the actions will be done by the cabinet and the bishop proceeding to this year. But everything still will have to be voted on next year. So, all everything pretty much stays the same for this year. But our budget was projected, and each church has already received a projected budget for 2021. But so this year, next year's budget is somewhere around $90,000 less than last year. So there will be a slight difference in some of the line items of your conference apportionment. But in all, $90,000 less than last year's overall budget. Uh, the special offering, which was given uh, during the conference year, was using line 39 for the bishop mission offering and line 68 for the Minister Educational Fund. Several of our churches participated in that. Okay, um, one thing else we need to know that the mission continues and as we get out there to do our thing, we would like to you, you to know that several things have happened over the year and majority of all our concerns and uh, proposals and rules and petitions are pretty much based in the same line of all the other years. So the things that's happening right now is a discontinuation of churches. We will have around 11 churches uh, closing or uh, being discontinued as United Methodist churches. Now, I'll let you know that these churches have memberships from maybe eight members to 45. And only we have one church in the Hatchbury District to be closed. Now to give you a little outline of quickly what we deal with and how information is shared, and I'm getting ready to close because I don't want to take up the whole time of just hearing me going on with this. Uh, the Hatchbury District, that's what we're located in. And the Hatchbury District has right at 100 churches. Overall in the state of Mississippi, there's 984 United Methodist churches. The most of our communication comes through from our bishop, the Mississippi Annual Conference, and give you a breakdown of how we organize and then I'll be closing. The Mississippi Annual Conference, our bishop is James Swanson. We preside in the Hatsburg District with our district superintendent Cynthia across. Cross. We are members of the Paul in Charge, and our pastor is Pastor Elder Johnson. The Paul in Charge consists of four churches, Spring Hill, Oak Byron, Leon and William Chapel. We have a BPRC commission, and the chairperson of this group is Jesse Jones. But each church has PPPR, PPRC members. I am your delegate for the annual conference. Janice Chandler is your alternate, and your church treasurer. Most of these people, these are the ones usually going to get letters from the conference on anything. For pertaining to your church. Church treasures received because we send in our apportionments and monies and back and forth and understanding of that. Our church treasurers and financial people have to be bonded. And because we are under the conference insurance, we are already automatically bonded. So that is a must, that you must be bonded. Again, uh, the concerns with everything going on in the conference and all of what is happening around us, we must stay focused and continue to go outside the doors. And it's a new era. We must use our young people uh, to help us navigate through this technology that's out there, and we still can reach our people. Within the Hatchbury District, we had 15 new church changes, uh, pastoral changes, and again, just one church to close. In within that. Now within closed church closing, let me just tell you this, for a church closing, it has to go through a process. And within that process, there's almost a three year process with a financial obligation because every year is budgeted pertaining to how many churches in the, in the Mississippi Conference. 
And so if for the apportionment to be balanced right for all the churches, we have to know how many it's open. So if you're going to close, you must pay probably one to two years uh, in advance of your church closure. Again, I'm happy to be your delegate. Uh, everybody know me. Get in touch with me if you want to know anything from the conference. Uh, again, thank you for your support. Uh, the two days were very different, and it's pushing me to get away from the cell phone, the flip phone, and, and get into this technology what is out there where I can keep up with what's going on and I can report to you. Again, you all have a great day, and I thank you for your support in sending me to the conference and dealing with what's going on with the Mississippi Annual Conference. Thank you.